Morning everybody. Got a little update for my uh, DK65S tractor. Uh, a couple weeks ago the clutch was sticking on it so uh, took it apart. Uh, I'm gonna show you what we're what we're doing here. We uh, uh, we thought we'd take it apart and the clutch would be gone in it, replace it and uh, apparently that wasn't the case. I've got a small oil leak onto uh, the PTO shaft so I'll just show you what's been going on here as you can see we got the cab the back end completely separated from the front end it was quite a job we had to take it all apart take the loader arms off uh, all the hoses, electronic plugins. While I was at it, I took the fuel tank off because I had a small fuel leak when we finished the project. Uh, if you've seen the other videos, we just completed this, uh, I guess, a couple months ago. And it was working fine, but I uh, had a little clutch drag on the weekend. I went and did some work and used the uh, winch, which it, uh, what happens is there's a PTO shaft that runs inside of a big shaft. And it uh, slings, there's an oil leak somewhere from an O-ring or something, and it slings oil onto the clutch. So when we took it apart, we broke it in half, initially thinking, okay, clutch is gone, we'll replace the clutch on it, but the clutch was actually good. Uh, but one side of the clutch was all greasy, very sticky. So what happens is the uh, oil passes through that shaft in between both shafts and uh, goes onto the clutch. And the clutch won't disengage properly because it's full of oil and it, it's sticky. I didn't know that could happen. It's quite interesting. Clutch, clutches are pretty interesting how they work. So there's the front of it. The engine. Like I said, we've got it split right in half. So if anybody's ever wondering how you split a tractor in half, we, uh, we've got the front end on some cribbing and some pipes so it'll move. You can actually take one arm here and if you can see the whole, the whole front end of the tractor will move. The back end is supported with some blocking and a jack. This is what's leaking actually. So this is the PTO shaft. This shaft goes from the uh, engine to back. When you engage the power takeoff, it runs your winch or whatever implements you've got running. And if you can see where I'm pointing here, the oil is coming from in here, somewhere back there. You can take this. You can take this entire shaft right out. And there it is. So we're thinking there's a seal back there leaking. That's what we're thinking anyway. So uh, I'm in the process of removing, I'm in the process of removing, there's a cover in there. And I can't remove that cover without taking that shaft out, that shaft that's horizontal up there. I've got to actually take the, this is a body mount. I've got to take that out so the shaft will come out. So I've got to take that out, take the shaft out, see if I can see any seals that are leaking back there. But we're going to find a fix for it and get her back operational. Uh, right now I've got a clutch ordered. I'm going to put a new clutch in it. If you disassemble a tractor, it had a little bit of wear in it. So if you disassemble a tractor and go all the way in like this, you might as well replace. Uh, the biggest wear part pretty much in the tractor is a clutch for a manual transmission tractor. So I've got a clutch on order, clutch pressure plate, pilot bearing, release bearing, and uh, that's been ordered from Coyote for uh, I guess a couple of weeks now. And you know, you all know how getting stuff these days is, it's pretty hard to get parts. Uh, the shipping is crazy. It's, you just don't know when it's gonna arrive. Between this whole COVID thing and shipping, uh, shipping routes uh, blocked and god knows what else so we're waiting for that and uh, once we get those parts we're going to put it back together and maybe try to figure out some way to put a 
uh, maybe a Teflon seal in there or a new O-ring or something to prevent that leak. That's where we're at anyway. So uh, we'll provide a little update later on. Catch you later.